Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today we will be making for you our Christie's Lavender Field Solid Lotion Bars. We will start out by measuring out our shea butter. Shea butter primarily adds moisture to the lotion bars, but it also keeps them solid at room temperature, which is one of the things we look for. If you've never used a solid lotion bar, basically it is just all of the good ingredients of lotion minus the water. And so you just rub it onto the dry areas of your skin and then rub it in. Now we have formulated this specific recipe to absorb very quickly, but be very high in moisture. So you get that moisturized lotion feeling without the greasiness, which was a main goal of ours. The second ingredient we'll be adding is cocoa butter. Now cocoa butter is a really good one as well. It does add moisture, just like shea butter. It also is alleged to have anti-aging properties as well. It is another one that adds a hardness to the bar because it remains solid at room temperature. Next we'll be adding in candelilla wax. This is basically a vegan replacement for beeswax. It is uh, nice because it actually absorbs into your skin better than beeswax, much quicker, much more easily. It hydrates the skin as well, and it's very hard, so it helps the lotion bars not melt too quickly, which again is kind of the battle. You want to balance the hydrating kind of softness with the hardness to keep it solid at room temperature, but you want your skin to be able to melt it so when you're rubbing it on it actually gets into the skin. We will then be adding in some olive oil. Olive oil, much like cocoa butter, um, is alleged to have anti-aging properties. It helps with redness as well, and just like most of the other things, it adds moisture, which is the whole goal of a lotion, especially a lotion bar. And then we'll add jojoba oil. Uh, this one is supposed to help with redness and, again, add moisture. Basically, almost every single one of these ingredients is adding moisture to your skin when you use it, which is, again, the whole point of a lotion. We will then be adding in some vitamin E oil. This one in particular helps with flaky skin, and we actually add this to all of our products pretty much, so our lotion bars, it also is in our soap as well, and you just use a little bit, a little bit definitely goes a long way. We will then be adding in our fragrance. So this one is just fragranced with lavender essential oil, very clean, very simple, a nice like soothing bedtime scent to have. We then just have a couple solid powdered ingredients. We have colloidal oatmeal, which binds with your skin to help lock in moisture. And this again, we also add to our soap. So this is a pretty common ingredient here at Rainbow Crafts. Then the last ingredient to add is cornstarch. Cornstarch helps keep the shine down on your skin. It also is alleged to have antibacterial properties. It also helps with the greasiness that lotion sometimes can have. We then off screen melted down all of the solid oils into the liquid oils and we're just mixing in our colloidal oatmeal, cornstarch, and lavender essential oil into that big bucket. And then we'll be pouring these into those round molds and letting them set up for about a day. It doesn't take too long to have them firm up. We pour those off and then we actually package them in reusable tins. Now a goal of ours is always to reduce waste. So our goal for if we reformulate our lotion bars is to make them a little harder so that we can bring them to markets not in the tins and not have heat affect them as much and then people can just refill their tins so that's kind of the next up on what we'll be doing for our lotion bars in particular because one of our core guiding philosophies is to minimize packaging and minimize waste that's one of the thoughts we always have at rainbow crafts when we're developing products selling products, wrapping them, is minimizing that waste, especially single-use 
type things because that's not doing anyone any good. If you've never used a lotion bar before, I would encourage you to check them out. They're a really good, easy way to apply moisture to your skin. Uh, I use mine as like a hand lotion. If your skin is dry, um, it works really well to take a shower and then rub on the lotion bar while your skin's still a little damp and that just helps lock all of the moisture into your skin to make you feel nice and smooth and hydrated. It also works very well for a massage bar. It's not quite as hard as a massage bar, but you can rub, rub that on like your back or your partner's shoulders and then work that in with your hands and everyone will be happy with that. Out of curiosity, what would you all like to see in terms of scents for lotion bars we have a blood orange an unscented and a lavender but we're always looking to adjust fragrances to fit our customers needs so put that in the comment section below and maybe you'll see your scent suggestion in the next round of lotion bars All right, and that is it. That is how we make our solid lotion bars. The recipe will be in the description box below so you can see all those oils and things that we added. And here is the finished product with the wrapper and everything. These last quite a long time, uh, depending on how often you use it and where you put it on your body. Thanks for all the support. We do have a subscription service, so check that out to get discounts, soaps of the month, all those fun things. If you'd like to support the channel for free, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share all of our videos. Thanks. Bye.